The massive statue was pulled out from groundwater in the Mataria district in Cairo, found among unfinished buildings and mud roads, and also near the ruins of Ramses II's temple in the ancient city of Heliopolis, many believed it to be representative of the revered pharaoh. On closer examination though, that couldn't be further from the truth. When the head was lifted, we started to find some features which are characteristic for other periods, like Middle Kingdom or maybe the 18th dynasty, especially on the shape of the crown and of the ear and uh, the, uh, the right eye and the elongated face, and as well as some feature in the sculpture of the body. The Colossus is instead thought to be of King Samitic, who ruled Egypt for 54 years and is believed to be the founder of the Renaissance era. If confirmed, this would be the largest statue of the late period ever discovered. We don't confirm until now 100% that it belongs to Psamitic the first. Hoping, because maybe it was a statue reused by Psamitic the first, who placed it in front of the temple of Ramses the second in Heliopolis. But we are hoping during the next few days, weeks, months, to find the other fragment and to identify the owner of the statue 100%. Egypt is hoping renewed interest in its ancient past could be a boon for its tourism industry, a vital source of foreign currency that has suffered many setbacks since the uprising that toppled Hosni Mubarak in 2011. Leslie Marungu, CGTN.